Well, my YouTube friends, since I got nothing else to do today, I just thought that I would, you know, show you a picture of something. Like this picture that I made of Savior in his Super God mode, and Zarios in his Nega God mode. Why am I showing you this, you ask? Because I wanted to. So basically, in the future Quantum Patrol story for the decade 2020 to 2030 on the Sonic Galaxy forums, Savior and Zerios are going to be enemies. So, let me explain Savior's story. Savior the Hedgehog was born in Quantum City on Modern Earth, sometime in the future. Initially a normal hedgehog, when he was a young hedgehog, the Ten Masters of Chaos fought against Zerios and the escaped deceased villains from Hell. With their help, the heroes managed to defeat all of them, and Lord Kuyo imprisoned Zerios in the depths of Hell. The Ten Masters of Chaos then decided to take Savior with them, and thus his training with them has already begun. At some point, just like the other Sonic characters, he had no friends or family. He always dreamed of being the protector of the past, present, and future in the legendary hero Danny Lancefield's timeline. As he was in need of mastering these powers, the Ten Masters of Chaos tell him, Savior, you are destined to erase these mortal sins, for evil has created nothing but crimes. Defend the people of Earth if you want to protect them, which in turn caused Savior to become a dedicated heroic hedgehog as a means of saving modern Earth and harnessing the power of Chaos Control to do so. He was unaware that as a hero, he will carry Danny Lancefield's legacy, a fact that he decided to keep secret from the Masters of Chaos as he needed to protect everyone. Though admittedly he didn't realize that he would use the Chaos Emerald's powers, as he studied about what they can do for the user and how they were infused with god powers by Wheats and Lord Beerus. As a result, Savior turned out to be a truly dedicated hero and proved himself to earn the title, the Warrior of Chaos. He also vowed to protect the humans and slaughter those who were evil, like in the days of long ago. He was also gifted with knowledge from the Masters of Chaos around the time that... Neo Sonic is still alive. Danny is a genetic superweapon after his biocore was transferred to its body. The Mobians began to migrate on modern Earth's culture so that they can live in peace with the human race. And of course, the opening of the Quantum Patrol Academy. Since the Masters of Chaos understood that Savior's intentions in doing so are noble, pure, and ultimately for the greater good, as Danny Lansfield's history didn't turn out for the worst as it once was. So, there you have it. If you're watching this video, you're beginning to understand why I'm planning this. So as always, don't forget to fave, comment, share, like, and subscribe. And as always, take care!